all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Well, fans, at this time, we present a championship attraction once again brought to you by Top Rank Incorporated and Debella Entertainment in association with Nemiroff and Madison Square Garden. This bout is sanctioned by the WBC President Jose Suleiman, Supervisor Steve Wallachow, along with the New York State Athletic Commission, the chairman is Ron Scott Stevens. Judging at ringside for this bout, Bobby Costello, George DeGabriel, and Frank Lombardi with our referee in charge of the action, Steve Willis. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Continental America Super Featherweight Championship. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, is the defending champion. Wearing red trunks, representing the outstanding boxing tradition from General Santos City, Mindanao in the Philippines. He weighed in at 129 and one half pounds with a record of 26 wins, 11 losses and three draws. He has 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the defending WBC Continental America Super Featherweight Champion, introducing Bobby, the sniper. Pacquiao. And his opponent across the ring on my left is the challenger fighting out of the red corner, wearing light blue trunks with gold trim, fighting out of it, representing Flushing, New York. He weighed in at 128 pounds, his record 58 wins, six losses, two draws, with 39 wins coming by way of knockout tonight challenging for the title please welcome the former wbc featherweight champion of the world known as the flushing flash introducing kevin kelly once again a referee in charge steve willis now to give instructions 12 rounds of championship boxing scheduled Good evening, gentlemen. Both of you receive your instructions. Obey my commands. Protect yourselves at all times. Tech gloves, let's go to work. Steve Willis, nice, succinct instructions, firmly given to the two boxers. Kevin right. Kelly, right. 62 and 5 mark as an amateur. He was a 1985 New York Golden Gloves champion. That's when he first kind of made his mark in this very active New York boxing scene where fans followed the Golden Gloves very closely and then. Hope their prospects go on to uh, become great pro stars as Kevin Kelly did. Pacquiao and the red with black trim. Kevin Kelly, and blue and gold. And tonight we got two soft paws, both jabbing with their right hand, and that's odd. You'd be, you would think it would be a lot easier for them because, but it makes it equally difficult because soft paws. Prefer to be on the opposite side of the road. <laughs> well, they're not used to seeing a guy like you. <laughs> they don't like it. They don't like it. You'll see a lot of knockdowns here if one or the other can punch still. Well, one they? thing about Kelly, he will switch up. He will switch up. I think Takia will stay southpaw all the way. Kelly is taking the fight. Kelly scored a two round knockout in his last outing in February over Juan Carlos Ramirez. Pacquiao, somewhat uh, controversial uh, split decision over former IBF champion Carlos Hernandez back in October in Las Vegas. It was an important win for Pacquiao, but uh, was somewhat uh, disputed. The thing about boxing, as you get older, you like to stand your ground. You don't like to use your legs up. And that's awful safe for you if you can stand and punch. Mm -hmm. But if you happen to to lost, never had punching power or lost that that you have, standing in one place can get you hurt. And that's what I wonder about Kevin Kelly. Can he deliver from that standing straight in front of your position? Well, he was a great puncher as a featherweight. I mean, not a good puncher, a great puncher. Well, that means he can even be better as he ages. But a lot of the punching power comes from your legs. He's got a new trainer now, Don House, and he gives him a lot of credit for uh, for allowing him to kind of adjust to his age, change his style somewhat from the way he used to be, and 
do things that he feels are right for an older fighter and uh, given great credit to, to his new trainer in that respect. Incorporating a lot of martial arts stuff as well. He told me yesterday Tim. a lot of martial arts and, and he also kind of compared it to a pitcher who's aging and has to learn to pitch rather than just throw. Neither fighter has been able to land anything terribly effective but Kelly's kind of dictated the, the tempo so far. Let Pacquiao coming from a family that can fight. Oh boy. So at any time a fight could just break out. Another Manny one of the most exciting boxers in the game. Preparing for a fight upcoming in July. Trained by Freddie Roach. In fact they've been training together. During this period. A lot of fights are occurring uh, in front of Manny's. Final seconds of the first round of the scheduled 12 rounder. Going to the corner of Kevin Kelly, Don House, Dave Tenney, Tom Leffler there. Boy, you go to the corner and the student is not waiting for you and you're not a good 38 years old, that's not good. Yeah. Wait a minute. You never yeah. used the stool. What do I do? I'm trying to yeah. think of it. Differently, I, if I had gotten set uh, down, uh, I would have been able to get up. I was so heavy. Now, whatever you do, don't no, give George the stool. Yeah. <laughs> now, which career was that? Was it the first career or the second career? The second career. We go to Jeff and look at the body? Yeah, go straight down to the body. Straight up? Yeah, straight up. You can loop that right into the body, too. All right? All right. Water. <laughs> That's a very cooperative trainer, Don Houser. He's holding the microphone. <laughs> That's great. Ah, oh, they, they, they are indeed <laughs> their own reality show. You know, Kelly would probably hold his own microphone if we asked him to. <laughs> well, and he's been doing some commentary. A lot of fans have heard him, of course, and uh, obviously uh, every time that he shows up anywhere, he's auditioning for some more work as a commentator. <laughs> Lands that left hand. Kelly trying to get a little closer here in this round now tied up by Pacquiao. Pacquiao with a record of 26 11 and 3 only 11 KOs. He's not a big puncher obviously the record would indicate that his brother Manny can take you out. Now I like this referee Willis. Previous referees has been doing some strange things. <laughs> uh, miss it, not doing some strange things. <laughs> well, again, it's so much, uh, George. I mean, you've, you've been inside the ropes, obviously. That it's kind of how they present themselves that means so much, doesn't it? I mean, that's they, right. They create a presence that shows you they're the boss. They're going to stay out of your way. They're not looking for attention. And uh, I agree with you. He's doing a good job. So far, so good. All right, I got you. Step back. You know, George, I know it's early in the fight, but yesterday talking to Kelly, he seemed very energetic and quick, and he showed me things that he would be able to do tonight with his hands. But when you have the opponent in front of you, it just seems to me he's not really reacting that quick. No, he's doing a lot of thinking in there, and that's, that could be a problem in a boxing match. <laughs> you sit back and think, and bad things happen to you. And that's the good thing about being young. You don't think a lot. And you can do a lot of great things. But isn't it something how at this age you could shadow box very rapidly but once the fight begins and you're right you have to think you're not quite as fast. You want your body just to be a bit faster than you think. Oh. Keep him up man. Keep him up. There Come on. and he gets a warning immediately. From Steve Willis the referee. Come on watch the punch. Oh. No. Now when you're a fighter. Keep going. Keep going. Stay back. Like Kelly and you start time. getting hit on the, below the belt around those thighs. Things happen to your body that ordinarily doesn't happen in the gym because no one's been hitting you below the belt. There it is again. He's thrown another shot to the south of the border. Sort of hitting them on the hips, isn't he? Yeah, heck yeah. And I mean, if, if the referee is not catching it, you can do it. The guy who doesn't have legs are going to lose what little legs he has. And he did get the warning, so you know that Willis is going to be keeping an eye on him. Time winding down in round two of the scheduled 12 round championship bout. Pacquiao is slamming those punches to the back of Kelly, Kevin Kelly. Slamming those shots. 
a little better round for, for Pacquiao but neither fighter been able to get the edge so far in this bout through the first two rounds. Pacquiao in the red trunks Kevin Kelly. Ranked number six by the WBC at this weight number 11 by the WBA but this title. WBC Continental America Super Featherweight Crown is owned by Bobby Pacquiao. He won it in October. To make it June, pardon me, of uh, 2005 with the TKO of Carlos Navarro. Kelly switches from softball. Orthodox. Right. Uh, He's just not, not reacting. I don't know. Not, He's not getting off. Come on. Kelly's eyes seem to be somewhere else. His body is there, but his eyes seem to be gazing to other places. If he can land a good shot, that could bring him back home. Pacquiao a little more active with his jab. Now Kelly comes back with a double jab. There's oh. a good left, brought it up from underneath and landed. That'll bring uh, Kelly back into the house. Oh yeah, nothing you know uh, encourages you like success. <laughs> nothing encourages like success. That is encouraging. <laughs> hey, watch your heads. Watch your heads, guys. Watch your heads. I got you. rushing in, just grabs Kelly until he grabs him back. And Kelly was able to land that that left with pretty pretty much ease. And it goes to the body. Kelly having a little more success now goes to the body again. Pacquiao digs back with a body shot of his own. Pacquiao, if he just gets in his mind, I'm not going to box this Kelly. I'm just going to fight him and stay on him. And he can get some uh, success there too. Well, he is a boxer pretty much, and he's not really like his brother Manny. He's less aggressive. And I think he's smart to find out exactly what Kevin Kelly's got left before he really goes after him. Well, and the fact is, when he's uh, lost in his 11 KOs, uh, he's been stopped six times uh, in his 11 losses. He's been stopped six times. So oh, that will bring us some amount of caution. Yeah, <laughs> yep, exactly. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, the stories you read about him is just one of those uh, pathetic but classic stories of a. Boxer still living in poverty in the Philippines and getting help from his brother and others down there who care about him. Oh, and he drops Kelly. Pacquiao found an opening and Kelly goes down. He does not look too good. Hey, all right. Let's go. Left hand. Well, and Kelly a little wobbly here. Got to be led back to his corner. There's blood all over the place. He did not know where to go at the end of the round. I got stupid. I right, see you keep your hand up. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? I see I was stupid. How you doing? Yes, I'm good. Just know where you are. I'm in bed. I'm in uh, MSG. That's the God is June 10th. Okay, raise your right hand for me, please. Okay. Five. 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 Take don't a look at it. Keep your hands up. You don't come out Shot that sent him now. down. Caught him totally by surprise. Well, there was the uppercut that Kelly landed. Yeah. There it is, that left hand. Just almost leaned right into the line of fire there. That was a good chin. short punch. Good shot by Pacquiao. They'll give him a left, and he comes out firing here to open the third round. And the 38 year old survived. This assault here now and get himself back together. It's not the 38 years. It's just maybe some tough fights in his life. You can only take so many of those down the road with you. Sure. Remember Pacquiao. his fight with Troy Dorsey. Remember how many punches were landed between Kelly and Dorsey. Pacquiao trying to get this over early. Kelly backed up on the ropes. Not doing much to get out of that position. Puncher two. Pacquiao just firing away. Kelly manages to lose some of them, but takes one there. 
Well, if I'm the referee, I'm gonna, I would be taking a close look at Kelly right now. Now, not only are you watching a fight, you should watch his record, his history, and the amount of years. But Kelly can come back with a good shot. Knocked out four times. Oh. Low blow from Pacquiao there. Kelly hits the canvas. It appeared to me that that was a low blow that knocked him down. It was a low blow, but he's going to have to get up yeah. if he want to stay in this fight. Well, they counted him out as if it was a legitimate punch. But it was all for the best because this guy was starting to take some kind of beating there, and it wasn't going to get any better. You're absolutely right, but I, I would like to see the replay. Maybe yeah, he got hit in the pit of the stomach there, but... Yeah, he was going to look like a low blow to me. Yeah. But they counted the referee, it. The referee initially called it a low blow, and then he changed his mind. Well, he looked to the timekeeper who, who indicated he should keep counting, so I guess... They felt it was a legal blow. Yeah, well, they, they can't do it. It's the referee's job. Kelly's not up yet. You're right. You see here. Obviously, he's still in some pain. He's fine. Was it low? I'll say this. I don't see Kelly's people protesting. No, for good reasons, but. Take your time. Take your time. I saw a low blow. I was trying to get him tired by hitting me on the ropes. I was trying to get him tired by me on the ropes, but he put me in that spot where I fought Barrera. He's indicating so that. Punch this punch. Yeah. Yeah, Kevin himself is saying I didn't, it was. I didn't feel performing my best. I felt tough to get in his mode. I was, I was in my mode. Breathing okay? He's I'm testifying now. Yeah. I didn't find my mode. I'm more frustrated. All right, here it comes. Let's take a look here. You heard Kelly say it was, a, in effect, he's saying a legal blow. Now we're a little, a little too tight on that one. Maybe we got another look. Back to us. That camera shot, so it's hard to tell, but. Now here, the, that's that, below the low. That's oh, nice. the one left yeah. hook. The left hook on the side. Right. You're right. Right in the rib cage. Yeah. He got a low blow from wow. the right hand, and then he got a left hand right to the body, right in the rib cage. And that was a really good shot from Bobby Pacquiao. You know, George, you're absolutely right, and probably it's better this way that he was stopped with a body punch. Yep. Than to take a lot of punishment to the head. All right, let's go up and uh, get the official word from Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 24 seconds in round of number four. Our referee in charge, Steve Willis, reaches the count of 10. He is the winner by way of knockout and still the WBC Continental America Super Featherweight Champion, Bobby the Sniper Pacquiao. Oh,